In this video, we're going to begin converting an outfit that shows a lot of skin over to our own custom body type, either CBBE or Jane Bod. Now, we're going to be working with the Commonwealth Shorts Vanilla Dash CBBE. Now, I know that this already has a CBBE conversion, but for learning purposes, even if you're working with CBBE, go ahead and follow along so you know how to do this yourself. It's all for learning. So under the video in the description, you can find a link to this mod. Go ahead and select that and then click files. And we want to go ahead and install this first. So I'm going to grab Commonwealth Shorts. Now I'm grabbing the vanilla one. I suggest you do the same so you can learn the conversion process. I'm just going to click download with manager. And that's going to download with my Nexus mod manager. So I'm going to click mods here. You can also find a link to the Nexus Mod Manager in the description below the video. And once it's done downloading, you want to go ahead and double click to install it. All right, got it installed. So now that's installed, I need to know where exactly is this model file? Where is this mesh? Because I need that folder open. So to find that, I go up to folders. I open up my Nexus Mod Manager's Mods folder. Just go ahead and select that. And that's going to show us where our mods are. I'm going to go ahead and click that Commonwealth Shorts. You might have to scroll through yours. As you can see, I'm a very light modder. I, I make mods. I don't really use them that much. Go ahead and double click Commonwealth Shorts. And we can see that he has them in meshes. DX Commonwealth Shorts. So I need to find that on my file directory. So here I have the folder open. This is in my Fallout 4 data installation folder. I've went and I found it. And I can see that he has a ground object, which would be the world object. We don't have to worry about that. We have to worry about the shorts NIF. This only has one NIF and it. it's actually not just the shorts. It's the shirt and the shorts and the shoes. But we're going to go ahead and open up Outfit Studio. So with Outfit Studio open, you can see we still have our old project. Now this is something I always do because this prevents crashing. Okay, because Outfit Studio is still in production. And sometimes it'll crash if you just go ahead and start a new project and start working on a whole new outfit. Always just close Outfit Studio and reopen it. it. Takes like two seconds and it'll prevent you from crashing. So let's go ahead and do the conversion. First thing we want to do is open up our conversion reference file like we did in the previous video. And again, I'm using JaneBod, so I'm going to select Load Project and select my Fallout 4 Vanilla to JaneBod. I'll click Open there. Then I'll go ahead and grab this short sniff and drag it into the render window and release. And now it's in here. And now I need to go ahead and get this fit to the Jane bod. So I will select all of these, but here I can see that there is a base body. This came, so if I hide my body, you can see here's the vanilla body. I don't want that. I want to right click and go ahead and just delete that shape. And then go ahead and click yes. I don't need that out, that body because I already have my own body. And now I want to go ahead and select the top one. You can hold down shift and go down to the bottom one. Alternatively, you can select one, hold down control and click the others. Doesn't matter which way you do it. And with them all selected, we'll go to slider and we'll conform to sliders. Give it just a second to conform all four of them. And then we'll just drag our slider all the way up. That'll shape it to our converted, you know, our base shape. And once that's done, I'll go up to slider and I will click set base shape. Now those are all taken care of. So let's go ahead and get this out of here. So I'll do file, export, export NIF, and we'll go to our desktop and we'll just create a temp NIF file. So I'll just save it as temp.nif, click save. Yes, I want to replace that. Now I'll file, and I'm going to go to load project, and I'm going to grab my Jane bod, the one with all of the morphs. This is my Jane bod one, so I can have all my morphs here. If you're using CBB, that's file, new project, and you just use the CBB body, click next and done. <laughs> and so with this setup, I'll go ahead and grab that temp NIF that we just exported to our desktop. I'll drag and drop it. And now with it in here, we have to go ahead and start shaping it a bit more to this body and getting it a little more accurate. Now, again, you could use these morphs and then set base shape. Make sure you always select all of these outfits before you do that. Set the morphs, then go up to slider, set base shape. Don't have the body selected when you choose set base shape or you'll have to start over. So with these outfits selected, I can see I got a little clip in here. So I'll select this pull brush here and this is going to pull things out and then I want to select this specific piece I want to move so this in this case it's the top so I'll go ahead and select the top and I'll just go ahead and do those little light clicks just to get it in there now one thing I noticed I'm gonna hit control Z on the keyboard is that this side isn't popping out so if I do the brush and take a look at this you can see it's moving out both sides that's because symmetry is enabled by default when you load outfit studio just click X on your keyboard that'll disable symmetry so I can just move that one side without affecting the opposite side. 
All right. Now I can kind of scroll around and look, and I only see a little bit of clipping here in this boot area. So I'll probably want to fix that. So I'll come down here with this brush. I'll select the boots, and maybe I want to go ahead and move those out. Just tap it. All right. So kind of move that out. And I probably could have used symmetry on this one. I could hit X on the keyboard, turn symmetry back on, but it's okay. So now that that's set up, that looks pretty good. I don't see clipping anywhere else. I have to pay a little bit more closer attention to up at the top, anywhere where there is a border, you can see there's a huge gap here. We're going to want to fix that. What I usually do is I'll take the push brush, which is this one here. It's decrease mesh volume. I'll select the top here and I'm going to hold on S and make the thing pretty big because the bigger you make it, the better, the bigger the fall off and it'll be less noticeable that I made these changes. Now I'm just going to kind of go around and don't worry about a little bit of clipping. We're just trying to get it a little closer. Okay with this big brush and we'll pull it back out. So we're kind of push and pull routine here. So we're just pushing in first, trying to get a little closer, you know, and I'm using a big brush. So the fall off is really high. So the movement that we're making isn't as noticeable. So I'll just keep kind of keep doing this around, try to get it closer. And it's a push and pull routine. First, we're going to push it in. Then we're going to come back and pull out parts that clip through when we were pushing kind of a routine. All right, so this looks pretty good. Maybe I'll decrease the brush size, try to get it a little bit more accurate up here near this area and get this kind of down a little bit. Then I'll kind of zoom in here and I can see I'm clipping a lot here. So I'm going to use the pull brush, make the brush really small, and I'll just come through and kind of pull this clipping out right here where I've clipped it. And here I can see I got a little clipping and down here by the breast. And I'll just, I'm just, little quick brush strokes and kind of just kind of like tapping it and kind of stroking at the same time. So tap and stroke. All right. Just trying to pull out anywhere that I accidentally clipped it. And again, to move, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's simple. I didn't go over moving in the output. It's just the right mouse button kind of rotates and your middle mouse wheel scrolls in and out. If you're having issues with that, it's really simple. I didn't go, I didn't cover it because it's a, so, so simple to do. So, down here, I got a lot of clipping, so I'll kind of just switching with the S and the middle mouse wheel in between different sizes, just trying to figure this out. And I got a lot of, out here, there's a lot of volume, so I need to push that in. So I'll go ahead and select the push brush, and then I'll go ahead and scale the brush size up and try to push that in some. I'm just kind of doing these little sh light strokes, trying to get it a little closer to the body. Just spin it, take, you know, spend a little bit of time on it, kind of analyze right up here at the top. I'm just kind of trying to get this to fit a little bit better than it was with our initial conversion. Because of the conversion files, all they really do is they get you close and then they don't get it perfect though. None of them do. You, after you push it in, you have to still go back and make some adjustments. And that's what I'm doing here. And as you can see, as I'm pushing in on this, it's kind of getting distorted a little bit. To fix that, I can use the move brush and select move and I can Kind of pull that back a little bit to where it was just again with the little little strokes little click strokes is how i usually use the tools inside of body slide so again i can see there's a little bit of issue right here i'll just kind of use this little push and click you know get a little closer try different angles look at it see how it looks and see i still need to go in a little bit here get it a little closer there we go now we're starting to clip and then I'll do my pull. And that's why I do the push pull routine is I push it in until it clips a little bit. Then the areas that were clipping, I pull back out a little bit. Okay, it kind of helps you with it being noticeable that you've deformed the model inside of Outfit Studio. Okay, I can see here I need to fix this. So I'll just come in and I'll just keep making adjustments to this entire area using these brush type options that you have here. And move this in some, get a little closer. And I'm just going to keep on working around this neck with this push and pull. And I'll be back in just a second.
All right, and I'm back in here. You can see I've got it shaped pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that top area there. At the bottom, I don't really have to conform that any. You might have to come down and conform the boots a little bit better if you want, but I kind of like it kind of hanging off the back like that. So I think I'm going to leave that alone. And once you get it set up and you're happy, and again, to mess with any of them, you have to select which one you want to mess with and start messing with it and then go back and adjust the other pieces to fit that. So this looks pretty good. So what I want to do is go ahead and conform this to the slider. So I'll go ahead and select here, down to here. I'll go to slider and I'll say conform to sliders. Now that's going to conform each of them. You got to give it a second. Now here's, this is an important step. Okay. Because this particular outfit shows a lot of skin. We need to copy the skin weight from our body over to this outfit. Now I usually would export this as an FBX, pop it into Maya, clean up the skin, then put it back. But in the case of these videos, we're not really covering that because that's a little more advanced. We're just covering outfit studio and using outfit studio to do it. So you select all of these outfits here all four of the pieces then you right click on them and you're going to say copy bone weights what that's going to do is it's going to copy the skin from this and it's going to kind of do a skin wrap on all four of these so i'm going to click copy bone weights it's going to kind of give us a little skin wrap on all four of them and now it should conform with the body a little bit better in game you won't get a lot of clipping so in the next video what we have to do is cover zap sliders because there's certain areas underneath the body that we don't need to export with this outfit this will also help reduce clipping in game if you have any questions or comments, feel free to post below the video and click subscribe to follow us on YouTube.